Hi everyone, this is D with D's Divine Tarot 411, and we're going to get into your Celtic Cross reading for the sign of Taurus. So let's get into it, Taurus. Thank you, Spirit. That was flush. I've been talking to you. Please bless this card reading and the cutting of these cards. I trust you in all things and all ways. Let your will be done in this reading. I'll do my little top to bottom pr process here. Hope y'all doing all right. It's Halloween and we're about to go into November. Okay. So this could be for the first week to the second week of November. Okay. And it could go past that depending on major arcana cards. All right, so bottom of the deck card, Taurus, what we're starting off with is competition, chaos, drama. I've been seeing this a lot for you guys over the months, so this is nothing new to you. But it could be some kind of competition, some kind of drama, some kind of chaos, and we'll get more clarity, okay? First card out the gate, the Queen of Swords. So she doesn't suffer full. She's not playing. And she's not about to be in a competition for any reason. She's the queen. So this could be you and cutting out what does not belong. That's a tried and true. Whoa, bottom of the deck. Still, we got a match made in heaven. So she has her counterpart, the queen, I mean the king of swords, and he has the queen of swords. This would be either you feeling whole and complete in your divine masculine and in your divine feminine. You definitely, if you're feeling this way, you won't be played. But this could also be a new relationship forming or someone you're with already. How beautiful. Next card, we got Taurus. Wish come true. So that could be what it is. It could be possibly a new love situation but all in all these two together if this is you just as your whole self then you're getting a wish something that you really want and you're very powerful to pull with both of these king the king and the queen is very very powerful so either it's a relationship or it's you as your whole self and then you got wishes coming in dreams coming true next card taurus <laughs> wow so this is all about that divine masculine, divine feminine, marrying the two so you feel complete and whole. You don't want to be too high in the sky, airy fairy, and you don't want to be too materialistic. These two are in the truth. And then you bring in the mix with spirit and you just can't beat this combination. This is how you feel complete and whole, knowing the truth and knowing who you are. How do you know who you are? By knowing the truth. That's the only way. And so, <laughs> what a beautiful, beautiful line of cards for you. I'm so happy. And then it's showing you're going to get a wish come true. Next card, Taurus. The Ace of Swords. So not only did you get that King and that Queen of Swords, you got the Ace of Swords, which is the sort of like the Excalibur sword. You, you're the only one who could pull this sword out the stone. And it's just being super clear, super sharp, super on point. <laughs> and you just can't lose. It's like spirit and the truth and justice is on your side with this true sword. Go ahead, Taurus. Shows you as the empress. You just can't beat this super woman. She is everything. So whenever a man says they want a real woman, they're talking about the empress. You might want a real woman, but you have to meet her. You have to be her counterpart, the emperor. You can't have her unless you are, even though she's very loving. She's the most loving. She's tied to the planet Venus. And so you just can't beat this kind of love. She's the biggest nurturer, biggest carer, biggest lover in the deck. Next card we got. The Seven of Cups. So you might not be clear about something for some reason. You got many options to choose from. Just make sure you choose something that's worth it over something trivial that won't matter. Okay, those were the first six cards. Moving on to the next six, showing that you're leaving. You're getting out of Dodge. Something is making you leave. It could be a past relationship. It could be for work. It could be for 
many things, but it just shows that you're getting out of Dodge. It's time to, okay? Shows you're very strong. So whatever you went through, this is about spiritual strength. And to pull this card shows someone who's gone through many, many things, many, many times that are trying and very difficult to get through. But you put one foot in front of the other. You take it one moment, one second at a time, and you get there day to night. One second, one moment at a time. That's how you build this internal strength to get through the hardest things in life. Proud of y'all. Go ahead, Taurus. Shows a young one around you that you could be entertaining, whether it's your kid, nephew, cousin, niece, you know, but you could be entertaining a young one. And then it shows you also as the queen of love. So not only are you very caring and nurturing, you're also the queen of love, which is pretty much the same thing. She's just a step up above this queen as the empress, but it's just showing how loving you are. You're very loving, very caring, very nurturing. But also this queen, unlike this empress, she doesn't give back to herself. The empress look at her. She's living in her garden of abundance, living it up. And she knows her worth. She won't settle. So you got to do the same thing, queen. Like, you could be flipping from the queen to the empress at times, but just remember, give back to you, do things for you, love you, because nobody can love you like you can. But once you get your man, he should know to love this empress and this, this queen the way she needs to be treated, and he should treat her that way. All right, next card we got. It's the magic magician. So you're a master magician. You got everything you need on that table to manifest exactly what you want. So use your power. Don't be afraid. Use your power and bring to you exactly what you know you deserve in this next cycle, in this next month of autumn, November. It's your time. <laughs> it's showing it right here. You got that glow. You're powerful. You got that glow. Rhythm of elevation. Look at all that sunshine, divine, and abundance. Go right ahead, Tauruses. Next card. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. So you've been going through it. Whatever your mind is, got on your mind, whatever you got on your mind is taking you to the Nine of Swords. So that's your foot on the acceleration of thoughts. And you need to do some exercise. You need to do something that's going to make you feel good whether it's meditation, exercise really helps, whether you're walking, you're doing some running, push-ups, sit-ups, calisthenics, something that's going to make you tired at night so you can get some sleep, okay? You got a nice opportunity for to building a coin, building more money up, new abundance, so you're going to be blessed in this new month, maybe a new job possibly. Here we go. <laughs> so this is the devil situation that you're dealing with and why you're having nightmares it's time to cut out from this devil and like it showed that six of swords this is what you're leaving from this is what you're going to be getting rid of these nightmares not being able to sleep and you'll be getting this devil out of your life holy smoke and this rocky road relationship and you feeling betrayed in it it's a wrap for it also <laughs> excuse me juggling and struggling this is going to be coming to an end, too. We give our all in situations. But sometimes it takes everything we got in this showing that you're doing it. And guess what you got? Victory. You're going to win in the end. So it's good for you that you're leaving this situation because God has the victory for you. You put in the work. You're using your magic to get out of Dodge, and you will feel like the victor. Also shows you as the queen of pentacles. So you're about to feel like that probably in this new cycle with that page of pentacles. This is what you're leaving. This devil, this situation, nastiness, deviousness. And you had to bring out your emperor. Holy smokes. Did you do it or did you do it? You got the emperor and the empress. Holy smokes. Wow. This is what you want to see. The power couple of power couples. And you got it. <laughs> you can't lose. This is a blessed, blessed reading. And this is your next cycle. 
you're going to meet your emperor. So all in all, I'm so happy for y'all. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Blessings, blissfulness, peace and love.